What's up guys? How's it going? It is Matt here. So I woke up this morning. There's frost on the vehicles. It's 34 degrees. Um, the leaves are changing like crazy. We're about at peak colors right now and the big fish are biting. That makes it fall. So we're going to be talking about fall carry. So let's get into it. Now, this is by far my favorite time of year. All right, by far my favorite time of year. I'm a New Englander. A lot of gun owners out in this part of the country and, and, and cool areas in deciduous forest areas, we love this type of year because it means you throw jackets on and you can carry whatever gun you want. That's what the that's a, that's a saying. You can carry whatever you want now, as many guns as you want. You can carry 30 guns if you want. No one will ever know it because you're wearing a jacket, right? <laughs> but uh, it's fall, so a lot of people love this type of year when it comes to a concealed carry. Me, I like this type of year because of all, I, I just like this type of year. I just, I, I love the outdoors. I love everything. Thing. I love the festivals, the harvest festivals. I love this type of year. I always have. It's my favorite type of year I've, everywhere. All right. It's always been my favorite type of year. Now, there's a couple things to take into consideration, especially for us New Englanders out here. And that is this type of year, there's a couple other things that are also going on right now. And that what's that? That is black bears. They're everywhere. All right. Black bears are all over the place. They're coming out like crazy, trying to get whatever they can before they got to go into hibernation. And they are everywhere. We see them all the time. The black bears, deer are out, all that other stuff. The the other predator animals are out. The predator cats, the lynx, the uh, bobcats, all that other stuff. So that type of year, you have all these big animals going, or all these animals coming, and some of the dangerous animals coming out a lot more often too. Now, when it comes to fall carry, one of the biggest mistakes people always make, all right, is yes, you can carry bigger guns, absolutely. Put a jacket on, carry bigger guns. Higher layer, bigger layers, things don't stand out, right? But the biggest mistake that they use is they put it in outside the waistband holster. They put a full-size gun in the outside the waistband holster. Now, unless you have a long jacket, all right, a long jacket and a long shirt on underneath of it, you're still going to be showing the world that you're concealed, or that you're carrying a gun, all right? You're not going to be fully concealed carry. Now, I'm saying that now. Some people are like, oh, you're wrong. No, I'm, I'm, uh, this, is, this is the time of year where I see the most people who carry guns. Why, why, why see guns all the time? And I'm not, it's not a bad thing seeing guns all the time, but in this state, it's more of a concealed carry state. And they think they're concealing the firearm, but they are not concealing the firearm. All right, this type of year, I mean, literally, you can carry whatever you feel like carrying this type of year. All right, you can carry whatever you feel like carrying this type of year. This is my bear gun, all right? And it's just a fun gun. I love this gun. I love this gun. It's a 686 plus four inch. It's a big gun, all right? It is absolutely a big gun. But this type of year, I still carry inside the waistband. All right, I still carry inside the waistband. Now, the biggest mistake that people make, like I said, is that they that, that carry outside the waistband with a jacket on or something like that, and they think they're concealed carrying. What happens is the very bottom of the holster, all right, or some people have like a half holster, like the half holster only covers like over here, and you have this, out. the barrel's still sticking out of the gun, all right, or the barrel's still sticking out, and people can now see the barrel. Or the bottom of the holster, which is obviously a gun holster, is sticking out, and everybody can see it, all right, everybody can see that. I just everyone can see it. You're not concealing a gun anymore. And they, they have so much confidence this time of year that they can carry whatever they want, that they carry in places that they shouldn't be legally carrying. And I see it. And it's sad because they think they're concealing their gun under their jacket, but they're showing the world in a government building that you got a gun on. So they're just lucky they haven't gotten arrested yet, right? And put in jail, right? So Keep in mind, concealed carry means concealed carry. Keep it concealed where no one can see it. Now, if you have a super long trench coat, absolutely carry outside the waistband as many guns as you want, right? If that's you, rock out that trench coat, man. But if you get your average person, like your average jackets, most jackets and coats, they aren't, they aren't the longest out in the world. They aren't the longest in the world. With an outside the waistband holster, whether you move or whichever direction that you move, that bottom of that holster is going to be sticking out. Or if you have like a half holster, the actual barrel of the gun is going to be sticking out especially if you're wearing a longer full-size gun. Now, if you still want to carry outside the waistband because you get a jacket on, stuff like that, absolutely do whatever you want to do. But the only recommend recommendation I'm going to make is if you're going to be carrying outside the waistband this type of year with a jacket on or something like that, you need a smaller barrel. 
all right? So you need a smaller barrel, like subcompact or whatever, because then it won't be sticking out from the coat. I mean, your layers will cover everything else, and it won't, it, well, for most part, most holsters work pretty good. There's a lot of holsters that'll still print regardless. You know, it may be the nicest concealable holster they say out there, and it's still printing a little bit with outside the waistband, but the smaller the gun, the easier it is to conceal it if you're going to be stripping off your coat, especially if you're inside, unless you plan on wearing a thick, heavy trench coat all day long in a warm building because everyone's cranking the heat on because the office ladies are freezing their asses off. So this type of year, like I said, always remember this type of year, you know, regardless of how you usually carry, I still recommend if you want to carry outside, absolutely. I'm not saying, I'm not telling you to do one way or the other, but I still recommend you carry inside the waistband. All right. And just, that's just those factors. I mean, it, more people print with their guns and show people that they have their guns carrying this time of year than any type of year because they pull out their full size guns or the compact guns or whatever it is, but their jackets are not exactly, they aren't very long. All right. They aren't long enough. So they don't show, they don't actually hide the firearm. Anyway, guys if you like this video like share subscribe if you like this channel guys go check me out on patreon you can actually help support this channel now we've got some more shooting videos out who are coming out to you soon and i have a new series that'll be popping up soon anyway guys it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other peace